position for a CT to be playing on pistol rounds. You can see they're not expecting this at all. Perfect read from Automatic, but can't land the shots. Does eventually get that bomb down as that's dropped inside of the window. Automatic finds his first. Breeze and Tim also get one back apiece. And so now Max with the Glock pushing forward, but Breeze finds a second of the round. And with two apiece now, one player remaining. It is just David inside of the window. Does trade one back onto Rush. Looking for another one onto Automatic. Gets the gush on him through the wall. Now trying to fall back, but Cirque peeks out from the ladder room, gets that final kill. And so EG started off. This could be aggro. I mean, the smoke's about to fade as well. DGT's in position, but he's only got 54 HP. So you missed that first bullet and you're dead. Well, and crucially, yeah, it's all going to come down to the timing. He finds the tag. DGT's down to 28. The rotation from Cirque here. He needs to try to bait and pull these crosshairs away for Automatic, who's hiding under the balcony. The FAMAS letting him down does eventually get the kill. Knows there's the player above him. He decides to swing out, looks for him, and finds him. Knows he's low HP. Gets away with it. So he's rotated now over towards Tetris. And you can see the team. They're coming in. Molotov's going to burn him out. They're going to hear it. They know where he is, they know he's in the connector, and there's the flank from Rush with the MP. Me, G. Because 9Z need to get some impact here. Find an early round on the team side, start to make him sweat. That might have been the play to make it, but with Lucan being buckled by automatic, now you've lost a lot of the opportunities you've had. Peek out as well from Stewie. Can't do much from jungle. He's been cut down. Automatics in the back line spamming through the smoke as well, and they're pushing up, going for the aggro play on A. Here comes Sir. Won't be an orb, but he'll still be slaughtering as he gets two. And it's just down to DGT. Waiting with a bomb. He's like a lost child in Asda. He just needs some help. The perfectly timed peaks from EG there as well in jungle. Stewie did just get spotted. The gun barrel giving him away. He swung out, did a ton of damage, got the information. And Cirque and Rush rotating through together. Cirque swings wide. Rush is right there to help him. They find three kills on the T's, trying to split up through connector. And that was it. Round done. DGT's just got to try to hold on to this AK. Doesn't look like the hunt's going to come in in time to find him, if it's going to come in at all. So yeah, he's just going to be able to get away with this one. Hold one AK into the next round as EG extend their lead to five. And very similar to last. Get boosted up onto the bricks and see if he can find anybody getting just a little over aggressive in mid. Timing almost finds it, but looks away at the wrong time as Max finds the opening. So you've got an entry. You've won the opening duel. But you still have to work around the facts in the round. 35 seconds. Rush has short control, and Rush is just going to unload with the AK. Gets two headshots. So off the back of the opening frag, things fall very quickly in favor of EG. There is a little bit of fight from DGT, but now he's the only one alive. The bomb's on short as well. And with 18 seconds, he physically doesn't have the capability to make a play out of this. As soon as he peeks, he should be slain. If he wants to clutch onto the weapon, you're going to get swung on. Peaks top mid. Even if he gets the kill, it'll be the peak oh from God. jungle. It was awkward, but it was a kill. Here we go down, spray comes out, finds the bomb planter, but not before the bomb does get planted. And no one's looking at the flank right now, Jack, and this could be huge. Oh, suck! He goes running into him with a blade out. Tried to go full Wicked Skeng Man, but instead just gets slain. Stewie's coming in. Spots out on Lucan. Automatic still waiting towards window as well, but time is really far ticked. Rush, he's pushed up. He's going to spot out the sandwich player and leave him on the deck. Re-aggression from Connector. Big headshot from David, and he stopped any shenanigans right here. Stu gonna go for the stick. No, he gets off of it. Can't find the kill either. Just needs to try to find the last one as 9Z is gonna pick up their first round of the game. Eight to one now, the AX. Yeah, pounding on Cirque. Look at that, they peek up, they find Automatic now. They probably won't expect Stewie in this same spot because Automatic died. And can Stewie find the second? He can't. Cirque quickly drops out to trade it. But look, they've double lurked out A and misses a crucial one. Player close slam, which gets the trade. Here we go. With Lucan finding that frag, suddenly things have flipped and the T's do have the A site as their domain. Breeze, though, comes in like a strong wind, blows Lucan off his feet, and they're hoping to put this round in the bin for 9Z. Max drops out and finally commits to the plant. Rush is going to be rotating round as well, so it's all down to this 2v2 to decide whether or not it will be a second round in the coffers for 9Z. Rush comes up. Both T's now playing from back CT. Utility-wise, he has a smoke and a flash to work with. 
Breeze is pushing up as well. He's going to extend round, peeking onto CT. Jumps up just as the timing works in his favor. There's the response from DGT. Hart commits to the spam. Time ticking away. He could make a play. Starts to slay on the first, but Breeze will leave him on a DECK. That will be the defuse. Tight, but it will go 9-1. Straight back to it. They go for the sort of half buy and straight back into the A nades. Crucial miss from Shirk from Cirque. The misses there come up because of it as well. With Cirque giving them the opener, the tech nines get close, and that's not where you want them to be. Now they're in CT. Ooh. Cirque actually does hit that one. Re aggresses as well, sees the leg but can't quite connect. Back up from his boy in the back line, but automatic will eventually be four. Cirque's just doing everything. Frag after frag on the AWP. Misses a couple, but we'll make up for it. And it's just down to Lucan. Bomb halfway ticked. Playing towards the back of ramp. It's a 1v3. They've got all the util. You drop the smoke on it, jump straight on. No real opportunity for him to do much. So it does find one kill back. It's a small consolation. I'm going to allow them out. Play for the retake with the way they're opting for this one. Breeze backs off just before the timing would have let him get a glimpse. If they don't clear this, it is going to be a horror story. They run straight past him. No real opportunity to reply. Rocks in the end will be able to hit one. He battles him through the box, but it's a four on four with a bomb planted. Yeah, and Breeze, you saw he had his smoke. He wanted to try to drop it to help keep himself alive, but the pressure was just so much he couldn't risk pulling out a nade. So he was able to get one, but couldn't find that multi-frag. Flash is going to come in here from Automatic. It's perfect. Full blinds the player in TT, and he gets the kill anyways. Rush goes down. DGT is full blind, but Stewie with the reaction pushes forward. Teammates there to trade, but doesn't hit the shot. Automatic does eventually, but they're calling it quits. They're backing off. Sir, he was holding the angle. If he would have stayed for a few seconds longer, would have got the frag. He had to run. He knew the bomb. Not even fighting them for map control. They don't even care. Flash goes in. Cirque blinds, you see the first player drops. He's now tucked in behind Firebox, ready to turn this round into a bit of a heater. But look who's waiting. Breeze, as the Flash comes in, he'll reveal himself on a P250, punishes for one. But that's all his gap will get. He's fragged. Stewie's buckled as well. Revealed himself, and he's been spotted from Tetris. So a small stalemate here, but still 50 seconds on the clock. And Cirque actually does peek out, sees it, but can't secure it. Now they know where they are too. Huge shot to hit. The swing comes in. Automatic was turning anti-flash to make sure he doesn't get that one. Flicks down. Can't connect the third, but Rush is there. The eco round from EG. Just the two saved weapons. It would work wonders for them. Cirque's primed and ready for the fight towards mid as he adjusts his angle. He finds a tasty treat in Max. Fights down on that one. DGT is forced to fall back as well from the Molotov, so they're burning more time off the clock. Ooh, he's crouched down, trying to avoid getting headshotted. He decides to push forward, though. Molotov drops, and he doesn't want to back off. And by going aggressive, Cirque responds. Inside of the window, as that smoke fades, hits the quickscope. Spotted the barrel of Lucan inside of Connector as well. Can he land the shot? He does. Gets legged for his troubles, but he came away with the kill. Good play from Rush. Rush, looking for even more as well. Fumbles with his weapon. David will take that opportunity and seize it. Hits the shot back. You're outnumbered. And you're getting peaked by a man like Cirque. It's not going to work well for you. And just DGT left for 14 seconds. Unless he hits all these headshots instantly, it will be good night at the end of the half. And it does go 12 to 3. Popping off as well. Things should be easy. Two sets of nades being purchased. It's the double smokes on Russian Stewie. One flash. The aggression in mid is going to pay off as he finds the pick on to Breeze. That's Max with the opening. Lucan inside of Windows here for support, but the play is towards B. There is two CTs here. The jump peaks are working to perfection, but DGT, double headshot on the player scaling into the site. And now it is just the two players that had bought the nades. Stewie and Rush, no armor in the two versus four. And this may be the difference here, Jack. Oof. Stewie trying his best. He was tapping away with a P250. But Lucan got the headshot on Rush. Lucan will peek again as well from the back of the van. Shots down the bottom of Connector 2. Trying to make some noise, potentially fake out this A play. But it's not going to change anything. There's still three CTs here. And it is going to be Circuit Automatic coming up short. They need to find these trades. Going to come down to the timing right as the boost comes in. And that is not good for the CTs. Right in this exact moment, Cirque swings around the corner. They get the trades. 
Can they get the bomb down? Can they get into good post plants, Jack? That's the question. It's a big ask. They've got it planted. The boost breeze on the box as well, potentially an unexpected angle. Lucan scoped in. He's normally a hell of a sniper in a spot like this, but it's not going to be good for him. Max is walking up through short. Time's ticking away. You've got to do something soon, and the angles are protected from the tees. Do they realize Breeze on the box, waiting for an opportunity to take a shot? They're going to sprint straight past him, jumps up, reveals his head. He'll be left dead. Breeze, he's won the round here off the back of the play, and he'll hit the follow-up on Lucan as well. Takes the orb for Cirque, and takes the round for EG. Play the angles game. Hold them off and push comes to shove. Boost through the window, though. You give a lot of leeway to EG on their T side. Max waiting in the back line towards CT. Here comes the util. Scope honed in on the feet. Not going to be punishing. Automatic goes charging right. in. David completely unaware of the potential. And that's the round crumbling to bits. I mean, all right. Oh, Hello. okay. So Cirque actually going down. Supposed to be covering that bomb planner. But he loses his life. Doesn't get the shot off in time. Doesn't look like it's going to matter. Bomb is going to eventually get planted. They do have the player inside of jungle. That's Stewie here with the perfect post plant position as well. Off is grabbed, but can he get away with it? Ooh, no, he can't. For a second there, I thought there might be a chance. But Stewie's going to grab that one. Off from triple pushes up to try and reply. There is a fight towards top mid, but Stewie, never in doubt. He's going to flash clear out as well, and this actually stops the push that was coming up there, and it's drawn the attention off the CTs. The A play is still developing as well. They're pushing up through Palace. David's there, but now he's the only one, the sole defender of the A site. Here's him coming, the ladder, giving away the sound cues, the shot from the bat working wonders, just the one kill before automatic cool. turns it on. Sirk, he pulls up to the party, lives it large, and this is the way it's going to go. A 3v2, all on. Rox and Lucum. We saw him. Yeah, Rush knows he's tucked away behind the ticket booth now. That's going to get communicated over. So now it's just about finding where that second player is. And they find them both at the exact same time. Cirque lands the off shot. Rush lands the headshot. And it is, at the end of the day, despite how it started, it is the NA victories at the end. Yeah, they brought it back. They got into their group. You know, round two. Round two of the games. As we said, the later it gets in the day, the more firepower we start to see. They get a little bit lively. And probably the expected result, right? You're looking at yeah. the Liquid game. You look at the EG.